When I was a kid, Bible stories were my form of entertainment. Pharaoh was the equivalent of snidely whiplash to me. I saw him as an evil person who had put God's children into bondage. Today's video is going to be about three great stories in the scriptures about Joseph, Daniel, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Most children remember the story of Joseph being given a coat of many colors by his father, Jacob, because he was seen as very special he was the youngest amongst all of his brothers, and he was treated in a manner that actually caused him to be a spoiled kid. Because of his arrogance, Joseph was sold to traders going into Egypt by his brothers. They took his coat, dipped it into the blood of an innocent animal, and brought it to his father and told him that Joseph had been killed by a wild beast. Joseph is sold in Egypt to be a slave for Potiphar, a very wealthy administrator for Pharaoh, and he prospers Potiphar's house. But one day his wife accuses Joseph of having made advances toward her, and Potiphar in his anger puts Joseph in prison for this breach of trust and this heinous deed. This of course is a lie, and ultimately Pharaoh has a dream, and the only one that can interpret the dream is Joseph. Pharaoh makes him second in command of all of Egypt. He saves Egypt from famine and ultimately his own family. Today's Jewish nation is composed of the sons of Jacob. If Jesus Christ did not intervene on behalf of Joseph, there would be no Jewish nation today. The next biblical story is about Daniel in the lion's den. Children love this story because it deals with lions and lions are like big cats that are sort of furry and wonderful. Let me tell you something, those things are ferocious and when they are not fed and they become hungry, they are wild. The individual in charge now is not Nebuchadnezzar, he will come later. But in the case of Daniel in the lion's den, it was Cyrus, the Mede, who was in charge of Babylon. And he was tricked into making a law that caused anyone who would not worship in a specific way would be cast into the lion's den. And this is exactly what happened to Daniel. God sends an angel to shut the lion's mouths when Daniel is cast into the lion's den. Cyrus doesn't sleep all night concerned about what had happened to Daniel. The evil wise men that plotted against Daniel are thrown into the lions, and before they hit the ground, they were devoured by the lions. Because of Daniel's faithfulness and the wisdom that God had given him, he had lasted four regimes, the longest ambassador in the history of Babylon. I've already covered the topic of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Nebuchadnezzar's dream in a previous recording. This is only to reiterate the fact that, that by trusting and believing in God, God will not fail his children. What may seem to be an absolute impossibility is nothing for God to accomplish. Despite the fact that they were cast into a fiery furnace, they came out completely unscathed, not even the smell of smoke on them, and there appeared inside with them the appearance of the Son of God, according to Nebuchadnezzar's report. The false masked players in today's system of government are about to be revealed by God. This is an actor in a mask. Notice the seam behind the ear going down into the neck. He is playing the role of a senile, bumbling world leader. Here is further evidence that took place in Belfast last Tuesday. Notice how, by scratching the back of the neck, the mask is in some manner loosened, and you could see that it is definitively a prosthetic thing over his head. Jesus is real. He's not going to continue to allow these fakers and liars to pervert justice, not only in this nation, but throughout the globe. You could rest assured if we, as human beings, can see past the veil of the deception, Jesus Christ knows what the real deal is. Trust in him. He will save us from this fraudulent system. Remember, every Wednesday, a new video comes out. 
share this one with everyone. God bless you.